I'm here joined by Olivier Hernandez, the director of Montreal's planetarium, as well as an astrophysicist for the planetarium, Jonathan Gagné. You two, we just witnessed an incredible moment, my first ever eclipse. So I just want to ask you first, what were your impressions of this, uh, this experience, this total solar eclipse? Absolute beauty. It was so beautiful. I really, really loved it. And for you, Olivier, did you notice anything uh, for yourself unique about your experience? The emotion. The emotion coming from the crowd. And we, it was very special and very uh, pure, a pure moment because of the light coming from the sun and the corona of the sun. It was spectacular. Now, I don't know how many tens of thousands were joined, but it was a collective experience. What do you think added to that this time? Yeah, I think uh, the, it, it's completely eerie. Just the lighting is completely uh, weird. And I think the fact that we are here with so many people at the same time, everyone started yelling when it was happening. The crowd experience really adds something, I think, to the eclipse. Yeah. And for you? And for me, the, the drop of temperature, and it was so exceptional. We feel the drop of, of temperature well before the totality of the, the eclipse, and that was amazing. In terms of the eclipse itself, like the corona and what you saw, was there anything unique in terms of uh, it compared to other eclipses, maybe? So uh, I've seen one other total eclipse and one thing that I noticed more this time were the small kind of pearl, uh, pearls of light just before and just after. Last time I saw one, I, I wasn't aware of this, so I didn't fully appreciate it. Uh, another difference was that there was a bit of cirrus cloud, so the corona was uh, slightly smaller, but it was still like completely beautiful. And you, Olivier? It was my first total eclipse, uh, and so this is uh, engraved in my brain forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yes, it was exceptional. <laughs> and a lot of people here, a lot of enthusiasm. Do you think this is going to translate into more interest for not only the moon, the sun, but uh, outer space as astrophysicists? I would think so, yeah. For me, it really left me with a mark the first time I saw one, and uh, I can see that it, it might do this for a lot of people. It might pique their interest about like our place in the universe. I'm pretty sure, look look at the number of people here, almost 100,000 people here, so I'm pretty sure that we, we, we find the right way to, 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 to put correctly the seed for the passion of science for some of them. What's the next step? Should they go on YouTube? Should they come to the Montreal Planetarium? How can people find out more about space, the moon, uh, eclipses, that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely on the website of the planetarium, they can find a lot of uh, different uh, stories about current events in astronomy. Uh, they can also look on YouTube for uh, fun facts about eclipses. There's a lot of really high quality videos that explain all the phenomena. So I would definitely encourage to look into it. It's fascinating. Coming to the planetarium, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but also going to uh, some uh, astronomy clubs in order to practice astronomy to use a telescope and to look to the sky everywhere and that's all well thank you very much for your time olivier hernandez director of montreal's planetarium and jonathan gagne an astrophysicist for the planetarium as well as a professor at university de montreal thank you too very much for your time thank you